Hi guys, welcome to my channel Sense and Style. I've had a great week and I hope you've had one as well. I made a quick trip into Manhattan. I'm back and I'm ready to talk straw hats. I love straw hats. I think it's the best accessory in the summertime. I love fun hats, cute hats. I love sassy hats. I love hats with a bit of sophistication. I love hats with attitude. But before I get into the straw hats, I have a question. Have you subscribed? Why not? Ah. The first 25 individuals that will subscribe and then have a friend subscribe, I want you to send me your name, your address, and your friend's name, and I will send you one of these really cool, really cute baseball caps designed by Damar Marketing that says Scent and Style on the front and a place beyond fashion on the back. Send that email to me at justkimberlystyle at gmail.com and I will happily send you a baseball cap. So now we're gonna have some fun. As I mentioned earlier, this video is about choosing a great straw hat for yourself for the summer. There are all sorts of reasons, many reasons, to wear a straw hat. As you know, the straw hat was originally to protect us from the sun, from heat stroke, and it kind of evolved into a fashion statement or a must-have, as you would say. I um, absolutely love them. I have loads of straw hats, and each year I take inventory as to whether I need a new, you know, a new pair of sunglasses, a new straw bag, or a new straw hat. And so this summer I thought that I would buy one, just purchase one, just add one new hat to my collection and then be done for a while at least. As I said, there are many reasons to wear a straw hat, but I think for the most part, uh, most people wear them to make a statement or to uh, attract or deflect attention, uh, that kind of thing. Just kind to express, kind of express your personality. Um, you, you could wear a hat to protect yourself from the sun, as I said. You could wear a hat, be wearing a hat because on any given day because you're having a bad hair day or you just um, do hats. I wanted to share a few hats with you uh, to kind of go through some of the styles that I like and what I think is uh, really great looking uh, because um, it's that time of the year. So let's kind of go through a few of um, the hats that I've selected for you. They can be uh, really bold. They can be really understated. They can be dressed up or dressed down. But for the most part, a hat usually makes a statement one way or the other. I usually uh, go for uh, a little more brim. Certain brims make me feel more comfortable than the other. Uh, a wider brim, that kind of thing. I'm not attracted to the stingy brim at all, but some people look so fabulous, so chic in a stingy brim, but I just can't pull it off. Remember when you are out shopping for a hat to always wear makeup. Always have on your makeup how uh, you would normally be if you were wearing your hat out. I know sometimes I go out without makeup with my just my sunglasses and uh, just put a hat on, but for the most part, you're probably going to be wearing your hat uh, with your makeup on. So when you're shopping for your hat, uh, you know, fool around with it, tilt the brim a bit, you know, tilt it back, bend the brim a little bit, give it a little attitude, see how comfortable you are in it. If your hair uh, happens to be long, make sure your hair is down. Don't try hats on with a ponytail. So you want to make sure that uh, it's the type of hat that you would feel comfortable uh, confronting the world in. When choosing your hat, try to choose a more timeless piece as opposed to a trendy one. One that you can wear, uh, say, you know, five, ten years from now. And if you take care of it, you will be able to do that. Have fun with it, you know. Look for one that travels well, uh, that packs well, uh, that you can kind of fold and not break the brim. If not, um, you know, you can carry with you as I have many times. I'll carry or wear my hat or stick it down in a tote. 
Um, but they're great travel hats, uh, straw hats that you might uh, want to look for as well. There's so many great brands out there. Uh, there is uh, Jonessa Leon. There is Eugenia Kim. There's Paul Stewart. There is Majid. There's one of my favorites, Eric Javits. There is the Brixton uh, Supply Company, who has a great collection of straw hats. So just kind of look around and see what you find. Uh, the perfect hat is out there for you. So don't give up. Now let's get to these hats. The first hat is by Eugenia Kim. It's a natural color fedora with a tropical pattern band. It has just enough brim to keep the sun at bay. It's cool, it's cute, it's casual. Uh, you can wear it with sundresses, your white outfits, your jeans, your shorts, whatever you fancy. It's definitely one to think about. I purchased it um, maybe a year ago at Offbit. I know it's still in the stores now, so you definitely want to check it out. There are just so many hats, so many hats to choose from. Don't be intimidated. Have fun with it. There is um, the wide band brim. There is the, the classic fedora, the uh, wide brim fedora, the floppy, the trilby, uh, the Panama. Uh, you, you name it, they're out there. So again, just have fun with it. Don't be intimidated. Do your research, play with them, and you'll find the perfect one. Now, this hat is one of my favorites. It's very sophisticated. It is definitely one that you can wear poolside uh, when you're just relaxing, a nice photograph, uh, when you uh, go to garden parties, uh, outdoor events, things of that nature. It's a showstopper. It's definitely one that says, I've arrived. It's by Majid, and you can't go wrong with that one. You can also, if you want to um, just add a pop of color, you can add a scarf to it. It has this little bow here now, a very thin bow, but you can easily cover it up with a scarf, as I said, if you want to add color. Now, this floppy is also by Majid. I absolutely love it. It has attitude. It's very, very stylish. If you're just walking, uh, you're on vacation, you're on holiday, you go in town uh, just to do a little shopping, or you want to bump around, you can do lunch. It's a really cool one. It, it bends very easily, too, and it travels well. So as you can see with the photograph, I've added the Paisley uh, Ralph Lauren scarf to it just to give it a pop of color. So if you want to do something different with it, you can do that as well. Now, this next hat is my absolute, absolute favorite. It's the Panama. It's by Paul Stewart, and you can't go wrong with this one. This one has attitude. It has a, a style all, all of its own. It's in a class by itself. I think you can dress it up. You can dress it down. Uh, just wear whatever you choose, but this one definitely makes an entrance. Now, this hat is one of my favorites. It's very elegant. It's very simple, but it also makes a statement of its own. It's got the black band. It's the bowl shape to it, the bowl slant. It has the crossbow in the back. It's very elegant. This one is by Nordstrom, so it wasn't very expensive. I've not had it long. I've only worn it once, and I enjoyed it when I did wear it. This hat screams elegance. It's from a time that if you weren't wearing a hat, you weren't completely dressed. I love it. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope you had a blast. I did. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll know that I've uploaded new content and I'll see you next time.